Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. And welcome to Roll for the Galaxy on Steam. I hope this will work smoothly here. So let me know in the live chat if there's any issues with the sound or the stream. Now, uh, as always, it's always a bit tricky with the sound level because it's different games and I have my headphones and all that. So yeah, let me know if you can hear my voice over the music and sound effects well. So Roll for the Galaxy is a fun board game. Played a few times as a board game. It's been a while though. I think it's like two years since I played it, and I like Race for the Galaxy as well. But I mean, I, ro I like rolling dice, so I'm excited to try this out here in the digital form. So I think we'll just go new game. So we're gonna play uh, against an easy AI. I think we'll just do one opponent here. And. Great. There is a tutorial, obviously, as well. There was a tutorial button there on the side, but uh, I think we'll just go for, uh, for the actual game here. I, I, I have a really good idea, I think, about how to play the game. Um, might need to you know, freshen up on some things, but... Let me just see that the stream is working as it should. Weird because YouTube just told me now that the stream launched and I've been talking for a while so I don't know. Okay, seems to be up and running at least. Again, tell me in the live chat if there's any issues. And this is a morning stream of course, it's 8am for me, but I had a good night's sleep. I was up early and I need to I needed to turn my, my um, sleeping pattern around because I've been playing werewolf in the nights. And I have to stop doing that for a while and just get back to a normal sleeping schedule. So here I am. But I can still stream in the mornings, right? Why not? Let's do that. So here we go. We can choose from nanotechnology. So this is a development, right? This is technology. Ah, hey, Taffer. <laughs> the nanotechnology, you may re reassign one or two workers to any phase. That sounds really good, though. And then we have the planet here, which is Galactic Fuel Depot. Gain a rare element brown on this world when you place it. And I think in this game it's a bit, I think it's a bit different from race, right? Because I think you... Yeah, so yeah, but I think, no, I think it's the same. So when I place this, I get a brown element, which is the rare, I think it's the most valuable one. And then when I produce, I think I will produce new ones on this. So I think this, this looks like a good... Let up. Let's just do down here. What, what I could have done instead is I could have flipped them uh, because all the tiles on the back is the opposite thing. So I could have flipped it so that you know I got another uh, configuration. Now I have three dice. I'm going to roll them. So go. And so I got two exploration and one. Uh, uh, what's it called? Settle. I think it's called. Like. Um, I think yeah. That must be settle, right? Because this is development, that's produce, and that's um, ship shipping. I think it's called maybe. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's one a.m. or yeah, you're in you're in the middle of the states, I guess. That's seven hours behind. Okay, so from what okay, so from what I remember here, I I mean I will assign these like, but if I have to assign them to the right type, then my opponent will also do the same. And then, depending on what we assigned, uh, things will happen, right? So, like, I can I can lock, I can drag a die. I think I'll do this. I'm, I'm gonna go for exploration, like this. And then I use this one to lock that in. So now I know for sure that it is going to be an exploration happening uh, in, in the action round. So let's reveal. So he went, he went for the development and locked it in. So we're going to have a... Exploration, and then we're going to have a development. And in the exploration here, I can either stock or scout. If I stock, I basically just get some money. I can drag these here and get two cash. I think I'll do that for one of these. Uh, and then I can scout. When I scout, I will get like new. Um, like I will draw new tiles. But I can also, before that, I can choose to you know throw one of these away. And then I would draw an extra tile, so I can get rid of one of these. But I like these two, so I'm just going to draw one. I got Silicon World. So 
this is another brown one. Gain one dollar and a rare element on this world when you place it. Since I have two with the brown, I think that could be a strategy, right? I have to also check my... I forgot about that. I have to check my my tile here, my sort of civilization tile. And so this says... Um, oh, okay, so here I got a... I have a blue, a cy uh, the cyan good. So this says plus one dollar for each novelty, the cyan die. So basically I should be going for the cyans, not for the browns. Oh yeah, Alabama, okay. So I guess I should have checked this before I started to make decisions, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I'm also Ancient Race, so I got a green here, obviously. That's why I have a green and a blue already. I want to trade those away for money or for points later on by doing the shipping action. But okay, so I instead of taking the Silicon World, I can choose to flip it. And then I can get this uh, technology instead. So this is... Plus one dollar for each good you trade this face. Uh, I'm not really sure what they mean by that. This face? Is that all the trading faces? I think so, because it shows the, the um, shipping thingy. And then when you ship, you can either trade for money or for points, right? I think that sounds better. Let's keep that one instead. And we also know that it is going to be a development phase because my opponent locked that in. So I will have, you know, the, the opportunity to pay two dollars, which I do have, to develop this. This costs five. It's really expensive. I have to wait on that. And there's not going to be any settle, so I can't do this planet right now anyway. And I don't want to focus too much on the brown ones. That's my uh, starting, like my, my galactic religion pilgrimage world. It's focused on the cyan, right? Hey, JB. Oh, yeah, let's, let's do down there. I did my exploration. Now I can do another exploration, or another scout, or I can just get more money. But I'm gonna look for more time. So let's go here. And again, I can give up one of these if I want to, and then draw an extra, but I'm just gonna draw one. So we have galactic demand that says when I ship. Yeah, it's called ship, yeah. Uh, plus two dollars for each good you trade this turn from a novelty cyan world. That fits very well with my strategy of my home planet to like focus on the on the novelty goods, right? I can flip this though. Let's look what it's on the other side. It's a deserted alien outpost. Here I can gain uh, alien technology, which is the yellow goods uh, when I place it, and then I can produce on that as well. But I think I'll just keep this um, technology here instead. Right, so now I've done everything I can here. My opponent didn't have any dice in the exploration uh, space, so he didn't get to do any exploration. So now we'll do done, and now we're going to do the development action. He's developing space tourism. I think we can look at that. I must say the 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 interface of this game is very intuitive. It's like you just click on things and and you see them, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Trade means getting the monies. Yeah. Uh, so, Space Tourist is, um, so he gets plus one if he have the highest cost of world across all tableaus. Plus one extra. Okay. So, right now he has a Separatist colony, and I have an Ancient Race here. So, he does have the highest cost right now, uh, as it looks right, if I understand this correctly. Right, so now... Uh, yeah, 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 he did the develop. I didn't get to do it, obviously, because I didn't have any dice in there. I, I forgot about that, obviously, yeah. Okay, so now I can um, recruit citizens by do my cup for one each, so I can buy new dice, basically. And... I mean, basically, I need to have dice, right? Otherwise, I can't do anything. So I'll just pull these back. And I, I don't have enough money for these other two, so I guess I need to get more money next time around, right? Otherwise, I'll I'll just get three actually. So. Now I got a bit of... Uh, okay, so I can do exploration. I mean, I don't have, have to lock anything in. But if I go exploration like this, and he doesn't lock that in, then it's not going to happen, right? I could also place a die over here. Uh, and that way, I can, that means I can place one of these in a uh, not in the, not in an incorrect spot. It works. So I think I don't want to produce because I, these are already full. I think I want to develop. 
I would also like to ship though, so what I'll do is I'll place this here, and I place that there, and I just hope that I will be able to ship. Uh, wait, do I have to lock in? Okay, I can do that. Oh, then this is in the wrong spot. I can't do that, okay. Um, wow, I can't do that. Okay, so if I do this, I don't want to produce. If I do this, and I lock in this, now I know we're going to get to settle. I don't do need, I don't have the money to settle though. Wow. I don't have the money to settle. Because I only have one planet and it's cost three. So I can't do that, I need to get more money first. And he's gonna explore as well. Okay. I guess if you play with more players, then you're gonna get to do more stuff, because people will lock in more different actions. I'm just gonna grab money now. Uh, I really need that. He did as well, and yeah, that was it. So I had one die that was uh, wasted. Oh, I always get a dollar, that's true, I always get some money, yeah. Okay, well let's just um, take all of these now. Have some more options. So, again, I do want to settle. And I also need more money, so I think I'll just uh, go for that. But I am going to lock this in and let's see if it works out. No. That didn't work out at all. Oh, I didn't think that through because now I... Wow. Oh, wait. Can I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it works. It doesn't cost three dollars. That's the development, right? Or maybe it's not the dollar cost. Maybe it's... No, no, no. It's not the dollar cost. I get confused with the... Oh, wow. Was... I love that game. What is that game called? That is based on this... I can't think of it now. There is a game that is based on these games that I really, really like. Um, yeah, I can't remember it now. In that one, it's all about money. But okay, so here I can place this now. And I get a brown goods there. And uh, now I only have one. I always get two dice, it seems. But then I can get one more. Okay. I can use this to change to any die face, right? Yeah. So now I kind of want to ship, but I don't have any dice for that. How do I get like other dice, like green and, and blue dice and so on? Uh, I don't remember. How do I get other colored dice? Maybe I have to sh maybe I have to sell these goods first or something. I don't know. I will... I will just go for this then. Yeah, yeah, dollars are just for buying dice, yeah. It's the number of dice that determines the actions I can do, I guess. Like if I want to, I think if I want to get this one, I need five dice here then in the uh, development, which is going to be kind of hard to pull off right now at least. But basically, what I want to do is I want to ship, but I still don't have. But I can do this. Let's see. Let's use that. That can transform that one into that there. Then I can lock that in as well. I'm sure that I will be able to ship. And I also get to do this. Get money this way. And now I can choose to, I can like take this, this one. I can fly here. Then I can take these and I can either trade for four or I can consume for two points. But I, I'm gonna go for money here early on. This three. Now I have a lot of money. Oh, now I got the dice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I got the. Now I got the blue and the brown die. Okay, that's cool. And then I get plus one for each die. 
the end of this phase. Yeah, so when I do the development, I'll get extra money because I had a blue die. Okay. Let's just buy everything here. Now we have a lot of uh, dice here. This is going to be fun. So, I can sh do a lot of shipping, but I also want to do produce now, I think. And I want the developments as well. I want to get these developments going. I think that's more important, actually. If I do these and I lock it in using that, and then I can just gamble on. I'm gonna do that and that. You now, if the AI is doing the shipping, then I get to do it as well. Oh, he's not doing exploration. Okay. Mm. Okay, now I'm a bit confused here. Why do I... I don't understand anything right now. <laughs> why, why can I develop this thing? It costs five, right? And why can I... Why can't I... Develop this that only costs two. Um, I'm obviously missing something here. I'm gonna press done. Okay, so I didn't do anything. That was really weird. Oh, so I put the stuff in there. Okay, okay. So I put the stuff in there, so I have four dice now in development. They didn't get lost but like they, were, they weren't enough to do what I wanted to do right so I need to do development again then can I do this so now I can put these in and now I have enough for this right yeah now I can place this I'm still confused why I couldn't just go for this one first do I have to do them in order Is that thing Okay, so now I have this. I can reassign one or two workers to any phase. That sounds really, really good. So basically, now I can just take. Oh, that's a wild as well. I got it on the wild side. Okay. I think I want to. I think I want to produce now. So, like, if I do this. That lets me produce on two planets, that's what I need. And then I'll lock that in. Oh wait, no, 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 it's better to have this one here. Let's have the wild card on develop. And let's just spread out a bit, let's see what he's doing. So he, he's doing exploration, so I can stock this. Okay, so now I'm producing, so I can produce um, right here, and I can produce there. Oh, so didn't they? Oh, do I have a white good over here then? I don't understand. Didn't I get a brown when I produce on a brown planet? Oh well, I'm gonna try to ship now, get points out of these basically. I'm not a hundred percent understanding how this game works, <laughs> but okay, so I can develop using this. Now I have two dice here, so I can place this, but why can't I choose to go... Do I have to do this one? I can choose to go with this one. I have to do them in order, I guess, so let's do this one then, okay. It's gonna give me more money when I trade. Now, if I take this and trade, I get six instead. Wow, that's a lot. I can take this one and just get some points. And I can take that one and get a point. So, I, um, I have three points plus 18. 
The AI has 15 points in total. Okay, so I'm in the lead, so... Okay, so let's get all the dice. Now I have a green one as well, I got from over here. So now I'm trying to... What am I doing? I want more worlds, right? So, I want blue worlds, so let's explore. And lock that in. And just do a huge exploration this time. I'll also put these in here, why not? Because if he's doing produce, then I can produce as well. We're both doing exploration, okay. So let's start by just um, scouting here. So I got this one here, it's a green. Or it could be this one, which is, uh, when I explore, you may re rearrange all tiles in your construction zone. Including turning them over. Oh. Ah, that sounds good. Do it again. So when I develop, plus two dollars at the end of this phase, including the phase in which you complete this. Oh, there's a blue world. I want that one. Here we go. Keep going. That's a green, or it could be... You may reassign one or two white workers to the face you lock. That sounds good. Okay. And just keep scouting. I'm just gonna look for blue worlds now. Let's do this now that I scout. Let's get rid of one of these. Uh, wait, how do I do that? Like that? Now I can draw two instead. Oh, there's a red. That's pretty cool. Get a red die. And let's go with that one as well. Okay, so now I have a bunch of tiles. I can start doing like developments and settles and so on. I'm gonna get all the dice here. Well, not all of them because I didn't have the money. <laughs> Okay, so what do I want to do? Well, I want to develop, I think. And because of this, I can just put anything I want in here. So I think I can do this. I think I can get all of them in here. Yeah, because of my nanotechnology. So let's just put every... Let's put two in there. Let's place this. Now I get extra money when I trade. This one makes it so I can rearrange tiles. And I'm starting to work on this, but I'm not done yet, okay. Uh, I don't understand, like, I guess the brown dice are better, right, than the... I think they have, like, different... I, I, somehow I saw dice, die faces earlier, I don't know what I clicked. I clicked something and then I could see the die faces. I know which dice I want to buy. Or where I click that. Ah, cool. Okay, so is that even when my opponents choose develop? Okay. So I'm gonna produce. Okay, I don't have any dice here, so I can't do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna produce the brown, green. And I still am really low on money, so I don't really... I need to get more money. Because I can't do much now at all. That's pretty bad. I don't know where my my money engine broke down. But yeah. Oh, okay, so this says I can rearrange. I don't want to do that. He's settling. He's getting close to me in points. Uh, 
Oh, so I can ship some goods, which is nice because I do need some money so I can get money that way. Produce now. Okay, so producing. Okay, so these are wilds. I guess that's the better thing with the color dice. They have wilds on them. I don't think the white ones have that. And I can just put in anything I want here, right? Because I do have the nanotechnology. Pop this in. This. Okay, I get to sell some stuff as well, that's good. And okay, now I get to do the, the production, so we're going to do as much as I can there. And I guess now I will if those I just produced. This, this game is, you know, it's, it's just like the um, Race for the Galaxy, and it's like a cycle of like producing, shipping, building up technologies, and so on. I think next up, I need to start getting more uh, planets up there, right? So let's. I don't know if there's. Does it matter which die I use here? I don't think so. So. A lot of dice now. Okay, so now I want to settle a bunch of new things here. So let's just put these in and lock that in. I don't think I. No, I can't do that one. Okay, so this will get me a blue. And this will get me a red. And I'm not done with this one. I need one more. I need to do um, this again. But I would like to do exploration as well. So these will get me new dice. Yeah, you can see that little cup and the dice. So that's awesome. I definitely want to do shipping. I think before that, I think I should do this again. I think I should just put these there and I lock this in. See how this goes. Green, no green goods. I have some dice to pick up. Now I need to do the um, the ship to gather that stuff. So let's go for that. Lock this in, and I can just spread out a little bit. I mean, if he's gonna do stuff, why not? I can put that there actually. There we go. Get some money. Now I can uh, trade there and wait, why can't I trade on these? Now I don't understand. I'm gonna go back here. Why can't I? Oh, I need to produce here first, maybe. That's the thing? No, I already got the die. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it when I placed the world. Okay, so these are not. These two are not producing stuff. It's just a one-time thing I get to die. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, so that, okay, so all I did here really is to trade once. Okay. I'm learning as I go. I'm learning as I go, but now I need to do so many dice, but I don't get to do that much anyway, I think. I have I need more, yeah, I need to explore, but I don't have I need to explore. Uh, I gotta go for that. I'll just put stuff in here. Let's find some stuff here with the scouting. Let's throw away that. Let's throw two tiles. We need to find... So this is a brown. This is another reassignment. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with those. I want to get more planets now, basically. Then I'll get some money as well. this oh yeah, yeah he did settle that so I can place it right away that's awesome that's some um, that's another brown die and then this is remove any of your dice and gain two red okay so I'm going to remove a white so now I have two I have a bunch of reds now Oh, he completed his... Oh, okay, okay, he completed his empire. Well, he won. <laughs> I did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how the game ends. When you place a certain amount of tiles. I don't remember how many it is, but... Okay, let's rematch, because now I'm starting to understand how the game works a little bit more. So, what do I have here? Let's start. Okay, so I have plus one for each two... For every two military dice. And I get a red. Okay, so I'm starting as a military and I have new Sparta. They get two. Wow, so I have, I'm starting with three red dice. That's awesome. So, what is this? Uh, reassign. Yeah, that's good. I want that. And this is gain a purple die. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know what purple dice does though. How do I see the die faces? There must be some. What has the trade value? Oh, so yellow, yeah, yellow is the most valuable one. Ah, here we go, okay. The purple has a wild card. White doesn't have a wild card. Green and yellow are the best because they have two and three, okay. I see, I see, okay. Um, it's hard, yeah, I'm starting to grasp it and I think it still is, it's, I like how this game is made. I mean, some games, like Aeon's End or um, Race for the Galaxy. I'm not a big fan of those um, these days. I played them a bit on, on Steam, but I think this one actually feels better. Okay, so I don't want to start with shipping. That's, so I'm gonna start with exploring. I'm gonna lock this in. And I wanna scout. So that's that one. You start recognizing them as well. The green, yeah, why not? If I can find... Oh, that's another red. Yeah, I want that. Okay. Okay, so now I want to settle. If possible. I don't have that much money. But I can settle at least one, uh, once here. And I don't have enough. So I just... Starting putting dice into the settle, right? I'll, I'll do it. I'll try to do it again now. But I also need more money. I can place this now. I get a purple die, which is cool. But I, yeah, I still need more money so I can have more dice, right? That's the thing. I'll just have to go for exploration. I think exploration is the easiest way to get money right now. Well, if I can't sell goods, that is. So it's quick turns. And I like the oh I like the auto button. It automatically takes my best dice. I like that. 
I don't really have anything to produce on right now. I need to start producing goods as well. So I can kind of get the green in there, maybe. Sounds good. Here we go. So I'll do that. I get the green. I got a green dye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did it. This is a, a green dye. It's not production. And I can place this. I got another red. So I have a bunch of dyes. But I'm running low on money. And I also uh, I also need to get some production going, otherwise I don't make any points, really. So I guess I need to explore them. I need to find production planets. Scouting. That's another blue die. It's not bad, it's not bad. That's more... <laughs> that's more red and brown, okay. I need to find some something that produces, come on. That's another red. I can't say no to the reds though, because they give me money as well. Like every time I ship, I get red at the end of the phase, so... Oh yeah, Aeon's End is an awesome game. It's just the app is a bit clunky, I think. Okay. So, again, I think I will... I mean, from what I... I don't have anything that can produce, right? Because all of now, So I need, to, I need to keep exploring, that's the thing. I'll just have to go all in on exploring really. Scouting like crazy. That's another die. Where, where's the... Now I'm gonna give up this. I wanna find those that are... producing goods. Come on. Red. There's a good. There's a yellow. Okay, but it's a six. It's gonna be expensive to, to build that one, but we'll try. I'm sorry, I'm playing quite fast now because I'm starting to understand how it works, so tell me in the chat if I'm too quick. You don't know what I'm doing. Um, now it's all about settling. And it's gonna take a two two turns, I guess, because it's. Um... I'm gonna do this for more red dice. Why not? I mean, the dice that I get, they go straight into my cup, so I don't need to buy them back, which is right away, which is nice. So that's also a way to get more dice, right? I have an incredible amount of dice right now, but I just need to keep settling. I mean, I don't know if you really... I don't. I guess you can just go like this. I get a bunch of dice, but I feel like I, I'm not making any points. I'm making points on the actual tiles that I place, but I want to start producing stuff as well. So I'll just keep... I'll just keep uh, settling for a while. The problem is I, I have so many dice that I'm not really using them all, because I don't have the money for them, so that's an issue. Even more dice... Yeah, I'm just rolling one die here, which sucks. Let's, let's get some more money. My economy, like my economy engine has not really worked at all this game. Right, so now I get... Now I had seven, so that was good. So now I can... Now I can settle this thing. Uh, the yellow one. That's gonna be nice. Not working on this policy here. This is good. Reassigning explorers. And he's in the lead, so. Oh no, I have five. I need six. Ah, oh, so I need to do one more settle. Ah, uh, wow. 
I have to do one more set to get that one going, and then... Then I can do the produce. No, I get the goods right away, so then I can just do the... Um, the shipping, right? And then with the shipping I get extra money as well, so that's gonna be nice. There we go. Finally I have a good title. That's <laughs> like the first one in the game. I have so much other stuff though. Okay, so now I'm going to ship. And I am going to consume this into money. I have a bunch of money now. I think I kind of need to find more... I need to find more of these. I mean, I wouldn't mind developing a little bit as well, but... Maybe I'll just put... I'll put some stuff in the development here, if he does it. I don't really want to ship, though. Let's do that, so I can put that there, and those there. I don't need to do settle anyway. Okay, so let's scout like crazy now. Find some more production. The way to get the purple dye, okay. The way to get a blue dye. I don't need more dyes, come on. That's pretty cool. One VP for each different color of dice you own. This is gonna be good for me, but it's very expensive to do. I'll keep scouting. And that's another red. This is a another blue. Give that up. Throw that away so I can draw more. I'm actually gonna throw that away as well because I won't have I'm gonna have to focus everything on getting this built because that's gonna give me a bunch of points okay there we go there's good and that is a good okay okay now, now I'm doing oh, there. I'll get some money now I need to set the right just throw these in here I'm almost done with that Starting to settle, okay. And he just completed his empire. Ah, oh, they won again. <laughs> I'm losing to the easy AI. I'm obviously not that good at this game. But it was fun. Uh, I am going to stop it here. I played two games and it's really quick and you know nice to play. I'm, I think I will play this a bit more off cam later on as well. I did enjoy it. I uh, just need to be, become better at it. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, stream. I'm going to do more of these morning streams. I mean, most people watch my videos afterwards anyway. Though streaming is fun. It's fun to connect with you in the chat. But it's also a good way for me to get the videos out without having to spend hours on editing them. <laughs> so uh, I have so much to film these days. So uh, I'm going to stream more just you know, to make it easier for myself. So I hope you enjoy this one. I'll be back soon with more videos. You know, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.